Well, hello folks. I want to show you um, what I've finally gotten around to doing, which was uh, putting together disaster uh, preparedness kits. Uh, I'm going to show you my first version of this. Uh, no doubt I'll make changes as I go along and figure out what uh, else I need to include or some of the things I perhaps don't need to include in my um, d disaster pr preparedness um, processes. Now, I live in Southern California here. Uh, South Orange County actually and we're very close to uh, the San Onofre nuclear generating station that's this songs right here so I determined that uh, I really need to do uh, disaster prep on uh, several different levels and uh, part of the reason I did this is because I went through this CERT community emergency response team training and uh, it's very good I would suggest uh, anyone who has the opportunity to go through that um, that they do um, so I'm going to show you uh, kind of some of the stuff I got out of the CERT um, training and some of the stuff I think I just need um, for my own particular set of circumstances here. Now, at the risk of appearing paranoid, because it's easy to get carried away with all this stuff, you know, the world's coming to an end and all that. Well, if your house is falling down, it certainly can feel like the world's coming to an end. So, um, I've determined I need three levels of kit. Something in my car, actually in my truck, something outside of my house. So, if the house actually falls down from an earthquake, which is in my case unlikely, um, that I have something to keep me going. And then all the stuff we all say we have, which is uh, I've got plenty of canned food in the pantry. I can last for, you know, a long time. Well, yep, that's true. As long as your house didn't burn down, didn't fall down, and didn't get blown away. All right, so... For those of you who um, still are not going to get around to it, uh, to building your own disaster kit, um, when you're in a panic because um, the earthquake has just hit and uh, fire can't get fire department can't get to your house, look in the phone book. It'll tell you a little bit about, uh, in our case, the Song's radiation evacuation process um, and uh, how to do uh, some simple first aid survival guide. This is in the front of your phone book, so you do have a ready uh, access to uh, information. Uh, you really should become familiar with that, even if you don't uh, go ahead and build your own kits. All right, so here's my go kit. It's just a big canvas bag with a zipper on it. I've got a bunch of stuff inside of it just to keep me going for a day or two. And the stuff I have in there is uh, water. This is a big, big, big issue. Lots of people don't understand this water. You need some water. And also, in my kit, I have a first aid kit, some extra bandages, a couple flashlights. Um, I, I have some snackies over here, but it's not really food in the normal sense. It's just something to kind of snack on because this is only supposed to keep me going for a day. right? So I can get back to either uh, competent uh, commercial help, uh, you know, fire department, police department, that kind of thing. Or I can get home to get to uh, my larger kit. Um, also have a uh, dust mask, um, some uh, steri um, sterilizing stuff, hand washing stuff, some rubber gloves so if I have to use the first aid kit to help somebody I don't get their blood all over me. A uh, pair of scissors, some marking uh, devices here, some paper so I can take notes, uh, that kind of thing. Um, keep going here. Boink. Um, also have a pair of gloves, so if I have to dig through stuff, I have a pair of uh, heavy work gloves, some fireproof matches, some water uh, tablets so I can uh, make more clean water out of, you know, crappy water. Some um, simple tools right here, masking tape, duct tape, um, some uh, matches, waterproof matches, um, and a fire extinguisher. Um, obviously, this doesn't go in the bag. It just sits in the back of my truck. And this is one of those thermal blankets right here. All right, so that's all just in that little bag right there just to get me through a day uh, and also be able to help someone if they're injured or, you know, that kind of thing. And this, this works not just for earthquakes and that kind of thing, but uh, take, for instance, somebody's car's on fire. You know, you've gone down the freeway. Well, you have a fire extinguisher to help them put it out and perhaps some gloves so you can open the door if the handle's too hot. You know, so there's a good reason to have this in your car, not just because you might have an earthquake or something like that. Now my second level is an outside kit. I keep it obviously outside my house. It's in this uh, uh, case right here and these two things up here are bottled water and I just keep it out next to my uh, rather rusty looking um, uh, barbecue which is uh, also a, a thing that I can use to uh, you know heat water and cook food stuff like that. 
This is what the um, outside kit actually looks like. It's a, a closable chest that has a pull-out handle and wheels on it so I can roll it away from the house. You know, if the house is falling down, I can grab this handle and go, you know, trucking out to the backyard. This is the big deal right here, water. I got these two things over at uh, Walmart for like seven bucks. They have a screw on cap, which you can't see because I keep plastic bags over this whole thing. Uh, another fire extinguisher. All right, inside, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. I'll show you what's inside this thing. All right. Um, this particular one has a pull-out little shelf that fits in on the top. It looks like just a bunch of clothes in here, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to pull all this stuff out. A um, whole bunch of plastic bags. So this is a really, really important. You need a lot of plastic bags. Let's say you lose the water uh, coming to your house, but your house doesn't fall down. Well, you can use plastic bags to uh, line the toilets. I know it sounds a little disgusting, but you certainly don't want to be flushing uh, valuable drinking water down the toilet. Just use these as toilet liners. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other things. This is a candle lantern, so I can uh, hang it in the tent. I'll show you in just a minute. I got a flashlight, extra batteries can of sterno, uh, radio, extra light bulbs, um, various eating utensils, a utility knife, uh, extra pair of glasses. I can't see a thing without my glasses anymore. Uh, some brownie film, uh, extra bandages, some snackies here, mixed nuts. Uh, I got my own prescriptions back here, some mega pain pills because I'm, if you really hurt yourself, you're going to need more than an aspirin. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff down here, some spare mint gum because I forgot to put my uh, toothbrush in there. So went back and did that after I took the picture. Uh, a lighter, butane or propane or whatever these little things are. This is also a lighter. It's a striker type thing. You strike this piece of metal on here and make sparks. You can light a fire with it. Um, let's see what else I got here. Um, another big uh, flashlight. Uh, notice that the lid is not down here. That's because I left the battery in here inside of its little plastic case. So I can't accidentally turn this on when it's inside the uh, uh, um, uh, roll around case. Another first aid kit. Great big one. Some extra food. That doesn't require any refrigeration. Down here. A whole bunch of uh, extra food. Um, two more of these space blankets. Um, make sure you have a can opener too. I didn't mention that before, but um, nowadays many of the cans come with these little pop lids, but some of them don't. Uh, this is a water purification backpacker's water purification filter. It's a little pump. Uh, some extra um, candles. Uh, this is a backpacker's uh, uh, stove right here. All right, and then of course something to cook in right there. Notice more water over here. I'm really paranoid about this water here in Southern California. It's very dry. So I've got three extra uh, bottles of water inside the kit. Uh, also notice this. I have an extra pair of shoes, really old crappy shoes. Because if a problem occurs in the middle of the night and you jump out of bed and go running outside, guess what? You're going to want some shoes. So put those in there. This is the backpacker tent, one of my smaller ones, so I can get it inside of the case over here. All right. uh, extra clothes. Um, once again, you just never know what's going to happen, so you want an extra uh, uh, change of clothes. Uh, yet another pair of uh, heavy work gloves. Um, also, something else they mention in uh, the CERT class, a couple of the uh, folks that uh, do this kind of stuff a lot. Um, they said you can stand to wear your clothes for several days, but the thing that really makes your life a lot better and in one of these emergencies is to have extra underwear. So inside here I've got uh, several pairs of underwear for myself and uh, my wife. Not the same kind of underwear, of course. Um, if you don't uh, want to get the kind of um, roll-around case I uh, uh, purchased, you could use a trash can making sure it has wheels on it so you can you know roll it around uh, having the wheels on these things makes it makes it a lot better because you can roll it around to like your vehicle if you have to uh, evacuate the area and you'll still have some of your own personal belongings the only problem with these kinds of trash cans is that they're very deep and so it's hard to uh, kind of go through the material because you do need to rotate your uh, your food supplies and water uh, on a regular basis 
Now, uh, my third level of kit is inside what's often called shelter in place. If your house doesn't fall down, doesn't burn down, doesn't get you know flooded away, whatever, you do have lots of resources in your house. And the major resource for water, of course, if you still use this rather than a uh, on-demand system, is a, a hot water tank. I have a 70-gallon water tank. Um, so there's a uh, lots of water there that you certainly wouldn't want to uh, lose. That's why we have these straps on here. I don't know about where you are, but uh, here in Southern California, it's a requirement that your water heater is strapped securely so it can't fall over in an earthquake. And of course, you have food in your refrigerator. All the recommendations are that you use the refrigerated side of your food first, then go to your freezer side. Uh, over here and then finally go to all your dry goods. Yeah, kind of messy looking, huh? I put these slide out drawers in here so there's a lot more stuff in the back. Notice that I do have the essential resource here, uh, Pringles. Lots of peanut butter. Um, keeps forever. And if uh, once again the house doesn't fall down, um, in my particular case and perhaps in yours, I have lots of camping equipment. Um, big stuff, uh, great big tents, uh, folding cots, tables, all the kind of stuff that would allow you to exist for literally a month, uh, providing that you have food. Now we have uh, and have had for a long time uh, lots of this ready reserve food. Ours is kind of old now, so I suspect that some of it's way past its prime, but the dry things, they'll keep pretty much forever. So. Um, you know, you can consider that too. Um, once again, more stuff here, camping stuff, standard camping stuff. Also, uh, fishing, tackle. I'm only four miles from the beach, so if push came to shove, I guess I could go down and try fishing. I'll tell you what, though, if we get to the point where everybody in this area is down there at the beach fishing, it's uh, we're going to be in big, big trouble. Uh, yet some more camping gear. Also, I have a little inflatable boat here so I, I guess I could you know go out further away from the shore than other people to catch those fish and finally uh, if it really gets bad because here in South Orange County we literally have about one way to get out of here uh, if San Onofre is a problem when we have to evacuate everybody in this area is going to flood onto the 5 freeway and believe me even on the weekends with no emergencies that thing locks up tighter than a drum so if worse comes to worse, uh, I can use one of my backpacks and throw emergency equipment in there and then my wife and I can get on our mountain bikes and ride through the back country because there's a way to get away from San Onofre without first going toward it, which is what you have to do when you drive. Um, we could go out through the, the back um, um, dirt trails. This would be way, way down on our option list, believe me, but uh, we could do it. And finally, here are some uh, semi-final technical notes. I don't make any recommendations for commercial emergency suppliers, but uh, I do make this recommendation. You should go to this, www.ready.gov, right here. You should go to this. It's an excellent, excellent site. It uh, covers all kinds of emergencies, floods, fires, earthquakes, all kinds of stuff. Um, and it'll give you an idea of what you need to be doing. This is actually directly out of the book right here. So it tells you what you should have in your kit. And uh, also optional things. Um, once again, this is directly off of that website uh, that uh, suggests what you should have in your uh, disaster kits. So I heartily recommend that you do this. Uh, do it before the big one hits. Do it before the emergency hits. And have a plan. Figure it out. This is really important. And every day on the news, we find out what kind of miserable mess can occur. And um, if you're not ready for it, it's even more miserable. So don't put it off any longer. Um, and I might suggest this too, you get your neighbors to do the same thing because the last thing you want is um, for everybody in the neighborhood to know that you've got your kits all put together and they haven't done a thing. Um, so when the big one hits, uh, that little tapping on your front door won't be for somebody asking to borrow a cup of sugar. Right? So it's much better to have your whole community involved with this. And uh, there you go. So no doubt I'm going to make some changes. Uh, no doubt you would want to do something slightly different than what I've done, but uh, get started now.